Hello Planeswalker, welcome to One Pack Magic, where we open one pack of magic cards. And probably sound like Batman right now, because I've been up all night coughing, so you'll have to bear with me. Anyway, it is November, and we are continuing with a pack of Theros Beyond Death. Now, I've had some cards on the channel from the uh, Mystery Pack Monday stuff, but I have not actually opened a pack of Theros. So I thought we'd start with Death's Good Boy, Cerebro, Cerebus, and see if we can get some good stuff. I think this is just, yeah, it's just a regular booster. It's not sad or pat, you know, draft or whatever. Just good old booster. <clears throat> we start off with a human soldier, token creature, 1-1. One, one. What we got on the back? Ah. Watch Champion Rise. Oh, we got a full art of Mountain. That's pretty cool. We have a cosmic order. Oh, Nyx Lotus. It is a four cost legendary artifact. Nyx Lotus enters the battlefield tapped. Tap, choose a color. Add an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. Your devotion to a color is the number of mana symbols of that color in the mana cost of permanence you control. So, basically tap. you got like five green creatures out. Boom. Get five extra green mana. Friggin' sweet. <clears throat> Fateful End. Two red instant. Fateful End deals three, da tar three damage to any target. Scry one. Look at the top card of your deck. Put it back or put it in the bottom of your grave bottom of your deck. <clears throat> Soul Guide Lantern. It is a one cost artifact. When Soul Guide Lantern enters the battlefield, exile target card from a graveyard. Tap, sacrifice Soul Guide Lantern, exile each opponent's graveyard. And trust me, that is <laughs> exiling someone's graveyard is pretty friggin' nasty. Pay one, tap, sacrifice, draw a card. I'd sacrifice the graveyard, but that's just me. Glimpse of Freedom. It is a one blue instant. Draw a card. Escape two blue. Exile five other cards from your graveyard. <clears throat> you may cast this card from your graveyard for its escape cost. So basically, pay three mana. Exile five cards to draw a card. Eh. Not my thing. Wrap in Flames. Three red sorcery. Wrap in Flames deals one damage to each of up to three target creatures. Those creatures can't block this turn. That's, that's pretty nasty. Cetessian <clears throat> Skirmisher. It is a single green, one in the green, human warrior with two one and constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control... Cetessian Skirmisher gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's pretty good. Stampede Rider. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, two red, Satyr, with two, three, Trample, and at the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature with f power four or greater, Stampede Rider gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. <clears throat> and with red, that is not hard to do. Omen of the Sea. It is a one red, one blue, sorry I got distracted by all the red, uh, one blue enchantment with flash. I ain't doing that right now because, again, voice. When Omen of the Sea enters the battlefield, scry two, then draw a card. Pay two and a blue, sacrifice Omen of the Sea, scry two. Not a bad deal. Flummoxed Cyclops. Oh yeah, he looks good and flummoxed. Three red Cyclops, 4-4 four, four, with Reach, always a good thing to have. And whenever two or more creatures your opponent controls attack, Flummox Cyclops can't block this combat. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Indomitable Will. One white, Enchantment Aura, Flash, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus two. There you go, simple enough. 
two mana, one, two. Pretty freaking sweet. Skola Grove Dancer. It is a one green enchantment creature. Seder Druid with two, two. And whenever a land card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, you gain one life. Two green, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. <clears throat> That'd be pretty good. Stack the deck with a bunch of nature cards and boom. Underworld Charger. Two black Nightmare Horse with 3-3. Three, three. Underworld Charger can't block. Fair enough. It, it's a Charger. <clears throat> uh, escape. Four black. Exile three other cards from your graveyard. Underworld Charger escapes with two plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, now that, that is pretty good. That's where it can't, comes good. 5-5. Five, five, boom. <clears throat> Nyxborn Marauder. Two black black enchantment creature Minotaur. 4-3. And flavor text. That's about it. Inspire awe. Aw. No. Inspire awe. Ooh. There you go. Three green instant. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to th this turn. Except combat damage that would be dealt by enchanted creatures and enchantment creatures. Scry two. <coughs> all right. All right, well, let's do a quick rundown of what I would play. Um, if I run an enchantment heavy deck, yes, that would definitely be fun to play. Uh, eh, four mana for a four three, it's pretty beefy, <clears throat> but it's common. Uh, I could see myself running this, especially exile two two. Yeah, slap something on it. Um, yeah, I mean, ditch some. Uh, like a handful of lands, you put them out, and you can start gaining life. I would play this, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's alright, but, you know. Oh, I'm attacking with two creatures. Well, can't use him. So, he'd be more good for attacking. Um, <coughs> mm. Mm, yeah, I mean, for two... And you get to scry and then draw a card. And then you could dispose of it to draw to scry again. Uh, yes, I would Yeah, I would play that one. So there's a 2-3 trample. And then you give it plus one, plus one. Uh, again, you know. Build an enchantment deck that would work with it. Uh, yeah, I mean if your opponent has like, ex like exactly three. Deal one damage and then none of them can block. Might not kill him, but you could have it's it's red. You could have find other ways to kill creatures. Not a big deal. Um, I don't know. Seems a bit steep for the exile cost. Unless you made something where you could play cards from exile. Uh, I like that, especially as a exile opponent's graveyard. That's always fun. Uh, yeah, three damage. Scry one. Always sweet. <clears throat> Definitely yes, especially if you did like mono, played a mono color deck. That would be nasty. And I do like that, so yeah, sure, I'd put it in there. <clears throat> All right, that is November's Saros Beyond Death, which actually had a lot of living creatures. There you go. Uh, so that's it for the episode. I'm gonna try to recover my voice. Maybe. Hopefully I'll sound better tomorrow. We'll find out. Uh, until then, I will see you tomorrow. And have a magical day.